So we, uh, if we just treat each day that Mr. Floyd lived, he was born October 14, 1973, and just made it a dot on a page. And we looked at over his lifetime. You'll see here, if we uh, look over 10 years, 20, 30, 40 years, up to uh, May 25th of 2020, that means that Mr. Floyd would have lived up to that day 17,026 days. Now, only one of these dots corresponds to May 25th. <clears throat> only one of them. All the rest of these days, all the rest of these dots represent days that Mr. Floyd was living. He was breathing. He had a being. He was living. He was breathing and had a being with every single disorder that Mr. Nelson has chronicled each and every day. You know, with his struggles with opioid addiction, uh, with his high blood pressure, etc., every single day except the one day. May 25th, that tiny little speck of a dot, and not even that whole day. Because as we know, there was a 10 minute segment, 9 minutes and 29 seconds, that he didn't survive. So in a, one day's time, there are 144 of those, 10 minute segments. And only one of them was the reason that Mr. Floyd uh, failed to survive. And what happened in that space? Well, you know what happened, ladies and gentlemen. That's where there was deadly force applied by Mr. Chauvin. We know it was deadly force because we heard from Officer Zimmerman on the stand who told us it was deadly force. He said it's deadly force because it's force capable of killing a person, which makes it deadly force.